Hello everyone and welcome back to Splash. Today we're going to be talking about 10 of the most adorable kids on the Ellen Show. Do you want to win the new iPhone 11 Pro? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Number 10 dancer Heaven King was only two years old when she performed alongside her dance instructor mom Tian in a 2013 video that went viral, putting them on DeGeneres' radar. Heaven was three when she appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show, melting audiences with her copycat hip-hop moves. Her appearance on Ellen made her so famous that even Beyonce recognized her. The superstar songstress gave little Heaven a huge hug when she spotted her in the front row at a concert not long after Ellen aired that episode. Heaven and her mom continued to release popular dance videos via the latter's YouTube channel, and their clear chemistry soon drew the attention of TV producers. In 2016, Deadline revealed that Verizon was about to release a reality show based on the Kings on its Go90 streaming service. Grace and Chance I got a text from my mom, and she said, call me S -A -A -S -A -P. So the first thing in my mind is, dang it. What 2010, Grayson Chan shared a video of himself performing a cover of Lady Gaga's Paparazzi in front of a gobsmacked schoolmates at a sixth grade talent show. And DeGeneres was one of the millions of people who saw it. Days later, he was sitting in math class when he got a text from his mom. What he'd done is book himself on a spot on the Ellen DeGeneres show, which proved to be a launching pad for the budding musician. <laughs> The baby-faced pianist quickly dropped two original songs, Stars and Broken Heart. Both have views in the millions today, and the following year, he released his debut album. Hold On Till the Night peaked at number 29 on the Billboard 200 and proved popular in Southeast Asia, a region that Chance has performed in several times. He apparently has a huge fan base in Singapore. Number 8, Kai Langer. Four-year-old singer Kai Langer wooed Ellen DeGeneres and the better part of America when he nailed a super cute cover of Grenade on what would be the first of many appearances on her show. DeGeneres' team reached out to Langer's family in 2013 after they saw a video of him performing the Bruno Mars song in a kitchen, displaying all of the anguish, the lyrics, simply on his tiny little face. It's a boy's fit for you, and it says my name because, because, because I want you to always remember me. <laughs> He amped up the cuteness levels with every new visit to the Ellen DeGeneres show, at one point offering the host a friendship bracelet and asking her to be his girlfriend. Langer's popularity with DeGeneres and her audience got him invited back a number of times. The Filipino-Czech heartbreaker delivered a memorable performance of Katy Perry's Roar on one appearance, but primarily stuck to mimicking his idol, Bruno Mars. DeGeneres even arranged for Langer to meet the uptown funk singer, just one of the stars that he's been able to rub shoulders with, thanks to a well-connected host. In 2017, the then seven-year-old Langer was surprised by Ed Sheeran after belting out his own version of Thinking Out Loud for DeGeneres. Number seven, Noah Ritter. What did you think about the ride? Well, it was great. Why? Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy. Apparently, Noah Ritter was cut out for life on television. In 2014, the five-year-old from Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, stole the show from News Watch 16 Sophie Ojeda during a hilarious interview at the Wayne County Fair. When asked about the rides, Ritter said that he'd been scared half to death by a slide and went off on a tangent about his grandpa, the Powerball Lottery, and never having appeared on live television before. And he used the word apparently an insane amount of time. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but... Apparently, sometimes I don't watch this. The little redhead quickly became known as the apparent kid, winning praise from the likes of Stephen Colbert, who called him a natural born newsman. But in the short time it took DeGeneres to bring him onto her show after the apparently video went viral, Ritter had gotten over the word and was into using seriously instead. Not that it mattered because America would come to know Ritter by his real name after he became a regular guest on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Yeah, five days? That's a week. Yeah. So, uh, so 10 days, year. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, Brielle. Recognized and named, 
hydrogen and oxygen on the periodic table, but he's best known for knowing what oxygen does in combustion. Okay, there's no sugarcoating this. Brielle is a legitimate genius. The little girl was just three years old when she first appeared on Ellen, but despite being so young and having an adorable little speaking voice, she could identify every bone in the human body and name every element on the periodic table. What is this? K potassium. K potassium. You want to tell me some facts about that? Yes. Um. Nowadays, Brielle is seven years old and keeps her fans informed with interesting science facts on her Instagram. And yes, yeah, she's still smarter than the average adult. It really seems like there's no limit to what this beautiful girl can keep learning. It would be nice to see her grow up and become one of the smartest people on the planet. Let's go. That's the soap. Yep, that's the a skull. And the and the parietal, and the temple, and the occipital. Number five, Macy Hensley. Okay. Um... <laughs> And I, I heard you made up a song so you could remember all the presidents. Yeah. Can, can we hear the song? Sure. Okay. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison. Macy appeared on Ellen for the first time at just five years old, and her detailed knowledge of U.S. presidents was nothing short of impressive. During her many appearances on the show, she got to visit the White House, play presidential trivia with Hamilton creator Lynn manuel Miranda, and she even got to meet former President Barack Obama. It was a match made in heaven, and the young girl was pleased to see him. Without hesitation, she asked him intelligent questions to everyone's surprise. Obama was amazed by the little girl and ended up gifting her a presidential seal. The, uh, so this is the presidential seal. See? And so wherever the president goes. These days, Macy still appears on the show every now and then, and she still plans on running for president when she gets older. With someone of her knowledge, it would be nice to see how things would turn out, and we can't wait. No. You know any any jokes about presidents? So, what do you call um, George Washington's false teeth? I do not know. Presidenters. <laughs> Number four, Nate Seltzer. Right here. That's Russia. And what is that on Russia? It's, it's really funny. <laughs> what is it? Trump. At just four years old, Nate made his first appearance on the show and came prepared with a world map that he drew with a magic marker. Now that was a shocker because a lot of people couldn't read maps until they were much older. Nate's knowledge of the world map was extremely impressive and he also proved that he could identify each country's flag. Whoa! When you think of how many countries are in the world, you realize the magnitude of this achievement. He could easily point out the capital of maps displayed to him and could recognize locations based on their grid line. First let's do this one. Okay. Which one? First? This one? Uh, no. no. That, that, that was not a map. That's not a map, no, that's a house. Yes. That's really sweet. That's Universal Studios. Oh, look at that. It's Currently, Nate still appears as a guest from time to time, but it is safe to say he's only getting more knowledgeable about geography, if that's even possible. He's definitely one of the genius kids that have been given to us. He sits on the chair on the island. He goes to the island and sits, there's a chair on the island. Okay. And then what happens? He explores. Number three, Sophia Grace and Rosie. Time on TV. Are you nervous? No. I'm... No? You're, ex you're excited? Yeah. It's very, it, it's nice to meet you. And you are Sophia, right? Yeah. Do I call you Sophia? Out of everyone who's ever been on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Sophia, Grace, and Rosie were by far the most excited to be there. Not only did they get to perform Nicki Minaj's hit song for an audience of millions worldwide, but they also got to meet the rapper in real life. <laughs> The one short segment kickstarted the girls' many appearances on the show, and it seemed like every other week Ellen was sending them on fun adventures. For instance, they got to hit up many red carpet events and interview a slew of A-list celebs. They even starred alongside one other in Sophia Grace and Rosie's Royal Adventure and released several children's books. Since then, however, both Sophia Grace and Rosie have grown up a lot. Both of them have launched music careers, and Sophia Grace was actually nominated for a Shorty Award in the Best YouTube Musician category of this year. Isn't that just great? Number two, Harry Pyle. Harry, you I came. I said the flag. Let's go, countries and flags. Countries and flags. Countries and flags. Countries and flags. Ellen invited a little tyke onto her show named Harry, and at two years old, he's the youngest genius she's ever had on stage. While he seems like just your typical fun-loving tot, he can actually blow people away with his amazing knowledge. 
Harry Pyle traveled with his parents all the way from Liverpool, England to be a guest on Ellen's show. So you came all the way over here from England. You were on the plane? Oh. How was that? No, don't look yet. No, no, we have to wait. <laughs> How was the plane ride? The plane ride to go over there. From the time they sat down, it was obvious the boy was excited and seemed to behave no differently than any other two-year-old. But then the conversation turned to Harry's incredible intelligence. There's a special talent Harry has that is very rare indeed. He can actually identify every flag in the entire world. It's very jaw-dropping to see Harry call out country names like Malaysia, Cyprus, Russia, Indonesia, and Vatican City. Talk about having a good memory and being one smart cookie. Let's just go right to it. So, Aust what is this? Australia. That's right. Yeah, go for okay. It. Malaysia. Malaysia is right. Number one, Zoni and Yoni. Possible to shake the good vibes identical Taiwanese twins Zoni and Yoni give off when dancing. The little ones are so darn cute and they were able to influence the Korean charts. When a video of the six-year-olds dancing to Crayon Pop's Bar 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 went viral, the catchy K-pop tune shot to the top spot. Ellen DeGeneres had them flown to the States and interviewed them on her show via an interpreter in 2014. The twins revealed that they began teaching themselves to dance at age three by watching videos on daddy's iPad and copying what they saw. When DeGeneres asked how people tell them apart, Zoni replied that she was beautiful, while Yoni says she's cute. And that was enough to endear them both to the host and her audience, who got to watch the girls perform several more times over the years. Both their English and their dancing improved with every visit to the show, and their social media pages reveal that they've been taking their instruction to the next level. Yoni and Zoni, uh, I have a surprise for you. We are going to set you up with Twitch over there. Twitch is going to help choreograph a routine, and you're going to come back next week and perform it on the A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away the brand new iPhone 11 Pro, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Also, while you are here, go ahead and check out one of these other videos on your screen, and we'll see you there.